Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about decomposition, but before I get started, if you can think of a science subject that you or your classmates are finding tricky and you think a video like this would help, then leave a message in the comments box and I will do my very best to get that out for you. Um, also, a really big thank you for watching these videos. I am a big believer in free education for everybody and if it weren't for you good people watching these videos, then I wouldn't be making them. So uh, again, a really big thanks to you for watching. Right, let's get started. So decomposition. Decomposition is one of the most important processes on Earth. Um, if it weren't for decomposition, there wouldn't be life on this planet. Um, the cycling of carbon, the cycling of nitrogen, both rely on decay of organic matter. So organic matter needs to decay. It needs to be released back to the soil. So the elements are returned back to the Earth and those elements can be reused to create new life. Um, if you want to find out more about carbon and nitrogen cycling, then click the links. So this is a very important process, especially to people like farmers who rely on it to keep their soils nice and fertile. Now, this decay can cause problems as well, problems like food spoilage. And uh, there are various ways we can slow this process down. The decomposers are fungi and bacteria, and they use extracellular digestion. Now, this is where enzymes are secreted. The organic matter is broken down by the enzymes and the products are reabsorbed. So dead plants and animals are pretty much liquefied by these decomposers. And organisms that feed on dead material in this way, we call them saprophytes. They are saprophytic. So let's talk about factors that affect decomposition. Firstly, temperature. Now for decay to happen, the enzymes have to be working. If it's too cold, the enzymes won't collide with the substrate molecules fast enough, the rate of reaction will be too slow, and if it's too hot, the enzymes become denatured and don't function anymore. Most of these decomposers respire aerobically, so they need oxygen. Without oxygen, no respiration, therefore no decay. Um, for example, if you don't aerate your compost heap, by turning it over frequently, it will turn into a big stinking anaerobic mess and be good for nothing. Now, enzymes work in aqueous environments. If you want chemical reactions to take place, it has to happen in water. Um, so a lack of water will slow down the rate of decomposition. And we can use this knowledge of how to slow down decomposition in food preservation. So for example, we can use high temperatures to kill bacteria. Um, and denature enzymes. So we're talking about cooking your food properly, blanching vegetables and so on. We can use low temperatures to slow bacterial and fungal growth. Like I said, chemical reactions happen slowly in uh, cold temperatures. And we can dehydrate food. So there's no aqueous environment. There's no water for the chemical reactions of decay to occur. Now, adding salt or sugar also kills the fungi or bacteria, and it does this by drawing the water out of them by osmosis. So it's another sort of drying out process. Adding vinegar, the vinegar lowers the pH, becomes more acidic to a point where the bacterial enzymes don't function properly anymore. Another way that decomposition is sped up in the natural environment is by the action of what we call detritivores. Um, now, detritivores, these creatures obtain nutrients by consuming detritus, and detritus is basically decomposing plant and animal material and feces. Um, detritivores that feed on dead plants are things like millipedes and wood lice, and ones that feed on dead animals are things like maggots and beetle larvae, or in a marine environment, something like a fiddler crab. So let's finish by mentioning biodigesters. Um, biodigesters, they're kind of like mechanical stomachs. You feed them with slurry, which is basically watered down animal feces in a big underground chamber. Anaerobic bacteria, so ones that don't like oxygen, anaerobic bacteria will digest this slurry and release methane gas. And this methane gas is flammable, so you can burn it and you can use it to heat homes or cook with. Um, you have sustainable energy production. So there you are. That's very briefly decomp decomposition covered. Um, and I hope that helps. So as ever, here's some questions. Check your understanding. Press pause now and have a go. Um, the answers will pop up in a minute. And thanks for watching.